Hey guys, so today I'm really excited because I got this Rilakkuma Aqua Beads Art set. Um, I actually did a video before um, doing the Frozen set. So this is basically the Japanese version of, I think they're called Beedos here in America. They're basically little beads that you can do little designs and then spray it with water and then they fuse together and it's really, really cool. Um, and it doesn't require any heat like perler beads do. And I'm really excited. I got this on Amazon, I believe. Um, it was really expensive. So, um, just going to tell you that now, um, I don't think they make very many of these anymore. Um, at least not, um, easily found online. Um, but I'm really excited, so let us open it. So opening the box, you get a ton of different colored beads in little baggies. You get your um, board to put all of the beads on, and then you get some stencils, which I'm really excited about. Then you get your little spray bottle. Again, you spray them with water and they fuse together, which is really super, super cool. And then you get a little holder for all of your beads. Okay, so I put most of the beads in here. They didn't all fit. Um, I don't really know who designed this tray, but it's not very effective. Um, and I don't think that it works very well. But anyway, so I have all my beads in here. Um, my camera actually fell on it and got them all mixed up, so I just spent like 10 minutes putting them back in their right containers. Um, so I have them all ready, and then I have, um, uh, I picked out this stencil first because it's super adorable. It's him on a pillow. Um, so I'm going to put it in my little piece here, and there are two holes that I believe we need to align. On here so I had to look at the instructions because I don't remember this part with the frozen one so I was kind of confused about how to do the stencil but basically each one of the stencils has these two holes um, in the corners so you just put it um, on the lid because there's these two little pegs and then the back of the stencil has two little hole pegs here and then it goes on top of it. So no idea why they did that and why it's not like form fitting, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's aligning very well either with the stencil. Okay, so now I'm going to use um, this little brown plastic wand that we got included with the kit. So you just push the little button and it opens and closes it. So we're just going to use the stencil and fill in all of the little beads. Okay, so now I have it all filled in. I think it looks really super cute. And the cool thing about this kit is that there are some 3D pieces. So these are actually his arms. And once they're done sticking together, then we'll stick them on top of this one and it will look kind of 3D. So now I filled up my little spray bottle with water. It's just plain water, um, just regular room temperature water. And now I'm going to spray the beads and basically what's going to happen is the beads are kind of covered in like a glue that's water activated and it'll kind of adhere the beads together so here we go okay so now that I sprayed it I'm going to let it completely dry before I try to take it off of this thing because otherwise it'll break Okay, so now that our piece has somewhat dried, we're going to attach the extra arm pieces onto the top. So I'm just going to spray again a little bit and put his arm on. I have to say that 
aqua beads are a little bit frustrating for me. I had a really, really hard time with this kit. Um, this is actually the second one that I've made of this one because the first one I did, I sprayed it all with water and let it dry and it actually curled up and broke. And so I had to redo it. <laughs> Um, and it was really annoying and frustrating. So make sure that when you do this, especially the bigger pieces, to wait for them to harden a little bit and then take them off and then put it in between two flat things so that they don't curl up because it totally ruined the first one. It was really, really sad. So <laughs> make sure to do that. I did make, I did try to make a Keratori and it was not working and I was getting super frustrated. So I gave up on him, but I do like these three pieces that I made. So I did finish the one with him on the pillow and then he has like the little um, 3D arms. Now, I tried to just stick them on, like you saw before, but that was also frustrating me, so I ended up just hot gluing them on, which was much, much easier for me. The problem is, is you spray them, and then they get a little bit slimy, and that's the glue that's going to hold them together, but it just take, takes a really long time for them to stick, and with the pieces that are 3D, it doesn't really stick that well for me, so personally, I find it much easier to just glue on the pieces separately but I really like how this one came out I think it's really really cute how he's lounging on the pillow then I made a little Kurilla Kuma and this one is cool because it has like her arms and then she's holding like a little strawberry which I think is really really cute I really like the 3d aspect of it as much as it's somewhat annoying um, using the glue definitely makes it a lot easier I was getting so frustrated before but I think it came out really cute so I guess it's all worth it then I made this one, which I also think is really cute. I was running out of brown, so his arms aren't as long as they should be. Um, but I think it's really cute, and it looks like he's, you know, laying on his tummy, and he has his little tail and his little arms, and I think it came out really, really cute. So overall, I think this kit is really, really fun. If you like Beatos, then you should really love this kit a lot. Like I said, this kit is kind of hard to find, and it was really expensive for me, so I'm gonna put, if I can find the link, I'll put it down below in the description, but I don't know if it's still out there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.